Have you ever received a gift that felt too generous, something you thought you didn't deserve? In this episode of Matcha and Ministry, we'll explore the amazing gift of salvation we didn't earn, given to us freely, simply because God loves us. We'll dive into this concept through the beautiful story of Naomi, Ruth, and Boaz. So grab your hot cup of matcha and join me for a heartfelt, thought-provoking recap on God's incredible grace. The biggest lessons that I that I learned or that I gleaned that I saw was the, the picture of, of Boaz in this story being a perfect reflection of the picture of Christ in our lives. That he's acting as a kinsman redeemer for Ruth. And that is a perfect picture of the redeemer that Christ would be for us. That it, when it was not advantageous for him to redeem Ruth. He gained nothing outside of a wife. Um, because the, the land that um, he would gain would be the land of any children that he would bear so that when they had obed that land that he gained was not his it was going to be obed's land even the child was going to be malon's ruth's deceased husband was going to be named under him that that there was nothing in the physical there was nothing that he would obtain by redeeming her the same as when Christ redeemed us, there was nothing that we could give him that could pay for the redemption that he gave us, that we were at his mercy, that that redemption would not add to him. It would only add to us that, you know, Boaz redeeming Ruth was doing more for her and Naomi than it ever could do for him. But God, um, in his omniscience, knew the picture that we would see from that redemption. It was a forecasting of what was to come. And so we can be so thankful and we can be so grateful that God, he says, while you were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That while we didn't love him, he shed his blood for us. That he was mindful for us. That he hung on that cross when he could have called a thousand angels to come to his rescue. He endured all of that for us. He was our kinsman redeemer. And we are so thankful and so grateful for his sacrifice. Because of that, we now have the opportunity to be called sons and daughters of God. We were engrafted into the family. And so I am so thankful and grateful. Yes, darling, glory, hallelujah for your sacrifice, Lord. It is the reason we are alive and breathing, have soundness of mind because of what he did for us. Us. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Matcha and Ministry. We hope you found it inspiring and encouraging. If you'd like to dive deeper into this topic, you can watch the entire live Bible study by clicking the link below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. See you next time.